Hello and welcome back to the FM Garage. In this episode of our Facebook Live series, we're going to talk about how to inspect your wheels to make sure that they don't have any damage, um, either due to track days or previous experience. So um, today I've got a few here um, in front of me. Let's talk about first, uh, before we get into actually looking at the wheels, what kind of instances are you going to run into whenever you're going to need to check your wheels to find out if they have any uh, pre-existing damage or any kind of issues that might have popped up while you were on your last track day. Um, when I'm doing this, um, also, if you have any questions about any of this, if you need any advice, feel free to post them in the comments below and we'll be watching those as we're going through the video. Um, today, on these guys, really, um, if you're buying any kind of used wheels, especially ones that are several years old, that's a really good time to check them out. Um, a lot of times if you're looking for used factory wheels because you want to have a, an extra set or if you're looking for uh, that really rare JDM wheel that you've had your eyes on for the last few years but you know it's getting 10, 15 years old at this point since they were new. So these kinds of wheels you really need to check out before you put them on your vehicle and make sure that they don't have any damage from previous owners or anything like that because all wheels do have a lifespan. Um, the same is said for track wheels. Um, any kind of track wheel, even if it's anything from like a cast, low budget or factory style wheel, all the way up to a forged racing wheel, they're all going to have a specific lifespan that after a certain point, you'll need to check them out and make sure that you don't have any damage or any cracks or any bent parts that are going to uh, dramatically affect your race day in a bad way. So uh, this can happen to anyone. Um, really, this is a good idea for anybody to check out. If you're not sure, pull your wheels off or simply even look at them while they're on the car just to make sure you don't have any problems. Um, so let's cover some of the wheels here that we have in front of me. This is a stock Miata wheel. I also have a stock Mazda speed wheel and then we have an aftermarket wheel over here. So this is going to be your pretty normal cast and possibly even spun wheel. Most all modern wheels are a cast center with kind of a either a spun or flow formed barrel. Um, this is true for this wheel. This is also uh, the Racing Hearts. It's from Einke. Um, they're also a, a spun style cast wheel. So the center spokes are cast and then spun into the barrel shape. Um, these guys are pretty strong. Really the factory stuff in most applications are going to be um, stronger than most aftermarket stuff of similar design until you get to like some of the really um, high profile racing wheels that are usually billet or forged. So these guys, when you take a look at them, what we're looking for is checking out generally areas of the spokes where you might have a crack. Um, generally also if you have any kind of bends or damage along the rim on the lip, uh, these are going to be the most common kinds of wheel damage that you'll find um, especially if you live in an area or go to a track that has a lot of potholes or bumps or if you're out driving really aggressively and pulling a lot of G's in the corners. Usually side loading or accidental potholes, that kind of thing, are going to be the kind of things that cause the most damage to wheels. So these kinds of wheels, um, I've already cleaned them up. When you're inspecting these wheels to make sure that they don't have any kind of damage on them or if you're trying to find any cracks or something like that, the first step, clean your wheels. If you're trying to look for cracks or damage or anything like that on a dirty wheel, it's really going to give you a hard time finding that damage. So give it a good once over, clean it up a little bit. Um, this one, you can tell that it's used. It's got some stains and things like that on it, but I've just wiped it down. So that way it makes it a little easier for us to see what's going on. Now, this particular wheel, um, this is from the NBs. This is a 15 inch wheel and it's just a regular five spoke with a plastic cap. Uh, these ones have lived a pretty easy life, so I've already checked them out. They don't have any cracks or bends, anything like that. So usually you'll see a little bit of rash, you know, something like that on wheels like these. But this particular set is just fine. Now, a more extreme case or possibly a more damaged case here is we have this Mazda speed wheel. This Mazda speed wheel has led a pretty rough life. You can tell here throughout almost all the way around the rim it's got a lot of curb rash. Now, curb rash by itself isn't always going to be something to condemn a wheel, but it's definitely something to consider. 
if you see curb rash like this, you really do need to check it out and make sure that one, is it just on the surface or is there a, a dent or a bump or is it even cracked there where it, it might have actually taken some kind of a side load and impact to damage that portion of the, the rim. So this one, it's okay. It's got a lot of rash around the edges, but nothing here that's really structural. You can also see on some sections, like here on the spokes, there's also several other spots where it's seen some kind of impact or has been mistreated a little bit. So this kind of stuff you want to take a look at. Um, also, if you're really, really wanting to get close, especially on some of these wheels that are, have a nice um, metallic kind of paint job on them, taking some kind of a light and inspecting the cracks up close with a lot of light so you can really see, you know, is that a crack or is that just a scratch in the paint? Metallic paint on wheels can be a little bit deceiving, so be sure that when you're doing this, use a light to really get up close and personal to check it out. So, same thing on aftermarket wheels, such as this one. This wheel is an aftermarket 17 by 9. Uh, this one is an NC wheel in our case, but you can tell it's got a lot more spokes. It's a little bit thinner. That may or may not make any difference, but it's definitely important to check every single spoke to make sure you don't have any issues. You know, same thing, checking the rim, checking the barrel, checking the spokes, and really get in there with a flashlight to inspect it. Now, um, there a lot of times with big wheels like this, the barrel is probably going to be fine. It's really tough to do any major damage to a barrel unless you're hitting a really big pothole at speed or unless you do something pretty silly where you're going off track sideways really hard, something like that. Um, usually the barrels on these are pretty stout. Um, it's usually fairly easy to check them out visually just by looking at them on the outside, looking at them on the inside. Um, and if in doubt, of course, go in with a flashlight and check it out, make sure that everything looks good, is smooth. You can also take wheels like this if you're, if you're sure that everything looks good visually, but you're not sure if there's any kind of small dent that's gonna affect the balance of the wheel or anything that might have compromised the lip, but you can't quite make it out, take it down to a local wheel and tire shop. So I've already actually got a wheel and tire mounted over here. That This is one of the Mazda Speed wheels that we had kicking around that's been banged up. And this guy, you can see that it has similar damage along the, the rim here. Some scuff marks and stuff like that. Uh, but what I want to show you is that looking at it here, you may not be able to tell just glancing at it and looking at it with a flashlight straight on. But you can see that if I spin this wheel, there's actually quite a bit of wobble. So if I hold my finger here next to the, the wheel, you can see that there's nearly an eighth of an inch deflection at some points where this wheel is bent. So at worst, uh, this may mean that you have an issue with the wheel that it's gonna fail catastrophically. In most cases like this, it probably just means that it's gonna give you a vibration as you're going down the road. Um, this wheel, here we go, I've actually found on the, the rim here, there's actually a crack. So this is probably an impact that either it hit a curb or somebody went off the track a little bit too aggressively on the curbing or something along those lines. And there's actually damage here to the wheel to the point that it's, it's actually cracked just a small section here on the lip. And this is also correspondingly one of the dips in the wheel as you see it go around that makes it wobble. So. A good tire shop, uh, most any tire shop, is going to have a wheel balancing machine like this that you don't even need to have it powered. You can simply spin it. Um, this is a pretty easy thing to have checked at your local tire shop. So easy thing to do if you're not sure and you want a second opinion. Now we're going to talk about one more instance where we have a wheel that has some pretty tricky damage to find. So this wheel, you wouldn't see it on the front, but we were able to find some damage on the back of the spokes here. Let me turn this around in the light. 
So I've got some paint, um, some painter's tape down here that's kind of encasing a very, very small crack. Now, this is a wheel that we had uh, been sent that has experienced some damage. Uh, we wanted to show this off to everybody to really show you that this is the tricky kind of stuff that you have to be very careful when you're looking over your wheels, otherwise you may miss it. So you can see just barely there's a little crack right there that goes just across the spoke. I've used a little bit of a wax crayon to kind of highlight it just a bit, but this is on the back side of the spoke, and if you look on the front, you actually can't see it at all. This is only started on the back. So be careful on stuff like this. You really have to look close, and especially if it's got a metallic paint or finish, something like that, it can be tough to spot. So um, another thing that is a commonly uh, performed and possibly even asked about in a lot of circles is what kind of finishes wheels have on there um, such as doing either polished or painted or even powder coat. So polished and painted, usually those are fairly easy to see most of the time if you have any damage, cracks, that kind of thing. Uh, if you have powder coated wheels, then that can easily hide cracks or small damage until it gets so bad that it could be dangerous. So if you have powder coated wheels or you're looking at powder coated wheels, just be aware that there is a chance that you may not be able to find those cracks because they're actually underneath the powder coat and the powder coat is still solid across the top of whatever metal surface underneath. Um, there's also possibly the inherent danger that if you have powder coated wheels that are designed to be used on a very lightweight car, that powder coating process sometimes can affect the metallurgy enough to make the wheels brittle. So there's a sliding scale there. You know, if you are using bigger, thicker wheels that are designed for a heavier vehicle that's powder coated, your margin of error is probably going to be a lot wider. But if you're putting on uh, little skinny wheels from back in the day, going on a newer car that weighs a lot more than the first one, that powder coat may affect your wheels enough to give you some problems. So I see we got a question. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll read it through a couple of these first. Can you get small cracks like that without hitting anything? Like will they crack over time? So the question is, can you get small cracks like what we just saw in this wheel without hitting over th anything uh, that may just happen over time? Um, the answer, possibly. So stress cracks or fractures can happen and will normally happen whenever you have some kind of an impact or if you're doing a lot of heavy track racing with a really sticky tire, side loading will cause these wheels to, to twist or cause any wheel to twist at least a little bit, which may crack it. Um, however, you can also experience some cracks if there's any kind of an issue with the wheel itself. So say that you bought some unknown wheels off of eBay and the manufacturer is some name that you've never ever heard of, they might not have the best metallurgy properties to their wheels. And so if there's some kind of a defect where there's a void in the casting for the wheel, it may simply crack. Um, there's always going to be some kind of a leeway or some kind of weird happenstance like that that pops up occasionally on some brands of wheels. But usually it doesn't happen if you're buying good name brand wheels designed for your vehicle. So let's check out the next one. Is there any kind of dye that can be used for detecting cracks? Good question. So this one is asking about is there a or is there any kind of dye that you can use to detect cracks? Yes. Um, in many cases, this kind of dye, you can actually order it off of Amazon or eBay. You know, lots of online uh, web stores like that have dye that you can use to determine if you have cracks in like engine blocks, heads, and wheels. So uh, it's a very basic style dye. You basically paint it on, you let it sit for a second, and then you brush it off. Very easy to do. I think that they usually go for around 50 bucks or so. Um, if you don't have any of that, Usually automotive shops will have some kind of a dye that they can use to help track down cracks, especially the little bitty ones that are hard to see. So yeah, that's, that's a very good way to be able to find it. And especially if you're wanting to make sure, you know, this is your track car or your track set of uh, wheels, and you want to make sure that they're good for your upcoming season, that's definitely a good thing that you should probably consider putting in your toolbox. That way you don't have any unfortunate happenstances on the track that year. Any other questions? 
No? Okay. So, um, other than that, really, it boils down to don't take your wheels for granted. These wheels and tires, whether it be factory, aftermarket, you know, you got them from Joe Bob down the street who's had them for 20 years, they all should be checked out occasionally. So don't neglect to take a look at your wheels, even if it's just a little bit of a once over, you know, next time you go out to your car, brush it off, take a look. But really, if you're using older wheels or if this is a track car, you should be making a schedule for yourself to check your wheels out periodically to make sure that you don't run into any problems. So thanks again for watching. We sure appreciate it, guys uh, and gals. If you have any questions about this or if you have any comments, concerns, um, just want to chat for a little bit, of course, give us a call, send us an email. There'll be information down below in the comments. If you want to get a hold of us, you can also message us on our Facebook and Instagram pages. Um, oh, hey, we've got one more question that just popped up. Let's grab that real quick. Can cracks be repaired by a DIYer? So the question is, can cracks be repaired by somebody that's doing this as a DIY job? Normally, no. Um, wheels and, and most modern wheels, being that they are some kind of a, a cast wheel or if you've got a forge wheel especially, those are kinds of um, issues in the metallurgy that you're probably not going to be able to repair on your own. Um, the other part of that is that most wheels nowadays that are popular to go on aftermarket or even most factory wheels are aluminum. So if you try to weld an aluminum wheel, uh, you might be able to limp by, but really it's not recommended because you're adding a bunch of heat to a very small area of the wheel and you're going to change that portion of the wheel's um, ability to flex or bend because you're essentially annealing it to some extent. So generally for any kind of repair, no. You'd probably want to talk to a specialty shop that is used to doing that kind of a process that then can also go through and properly heat treat those wheels once the repair has been completed. So it depends on where you live. A lot of those kinds of shops are going to be uh, in bigger towns you live in a smaller town you're probably not going to have one of those shops local but there are specialty shops that do repair wheels so reach out to those guys and they can probably help you out okay anything else if you discover a crack or damage would you recommend repair or replace also a good question so would we recommend that you repair or replace the wheel if we do find damage um, that really boils down to is this something that is a wheel that's readily available and is inexpensive to get a hold of? If so, it's probably easier for you to simply buy a new wheel. If it's something that it's a rare JDM such and such wheel off of a 1987 Honda Civic Si, you might not be able to find those. So if you're really attached to the wheel, it's hard to find. Or if you have a, you know, a forge wheel or something like that that's not really as viable to buy a replacement, then likely at that point it would make more sense to have it repaired and not cost as much as trying to source an all new wheel or trying to search all over the world for that special wheel set that you had on your car. So it really boils down to what your situation is and what wheels you have on the car. All right, I think that's it for now. So thanks again. If you have any questions, of course, reach out to us. We appreciate you sticking with us and watching our videos. We'll see you about this time next week. Catch you guys later.